so first of all, to actually get the uh, the site so it's uh, in focus for you, um, first you have to take out, take this front cover off. And then you just turn this so it's in focus for your individual eye. You did that already, so it's all set for me. Once you have the eyepiece on your scope focused, you'll also be interested to know um, one pretty neat feature of this scope. Um, so there's a battery in this little piece here. You don't want to take this cap off, the battery's in there, just leave it in. It's actually hard to put back on. Um, but if you notice, there's a green marking here. There's actually a red one on the other side. It's tough to turn. It is tight. But if you come with me around this way, so you can see the 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 uh, distance markings. There's tw 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. If you turn a little bit, it actually gets lit up. So in low light settings, you can either have it green and then it goes off, or you can have it red and then it'll go off. Quite a while to figure out how to actually use the Accu, Accu draw, but I'm gonna see if I can get actually a decent video of how it works. Okay, so what you do is you have to disengage the claw. Okay, you don't have to assert, but you have to make sure you get this all over. You don't want to get it. centerpiece is right along this the groove there's a centerpiece right there if you can see it anyway oops see don't mess that up don't do what I just did okay don't try to show people what to do while you're doing this all right well I'm actually gonna get it okay here we go all right once you get it in you are going to take You're gonna leave it, you're gonna leave it unengaged. You're gonna take this, put it where it goes, and when as you're cranking it, you shouldn't hear any noise. If you hear a clicking, you might mistakenly have left it on or put it on engage. You don't want to do that. Leave it unengaged. hear it click into uh, safety you have to 
turn it quite a few times. There we go. And you're just going to let it go back a few times. And once there's no tension on the string, you can just kind of take this out and you can manually pull it up over the scope and kind of put it back where it is. Have it at a little bit of an angle, not straight. This way when you put it back in engage, it's locked in. That's how it, you know, it took me about an hour to figure that out. But anyway, once you do it, I think it's, it's pretty easy. According to the user manual, sighting in the crossbow consists of taking several shots at 20 yards, making small adjustments until the aiming point and the impact point are close, and then making final adjustments shooting at 30 yards. So if you need to make side-to-side -side adjustments, you're just going to turn this knob and you're going to basically follow what it says on the dial. If you need to make adjustments to the left, you're going to turn the dial in a clockwise fashion. If you need to make adjustments to the right, you do the opposite of that, so counterclockwise. If you need to make up and down adjustments, you're going to look at the, uh, dial, the um, dial that's on the top of the scope. And you're going to take this cap off. And you're going to do it basically in a similar fashion. So if you need to make adjustments up, you do what it says right here, and you're going to turn counterclockwise. If you need to make adjustments down, you're going to make click the dial clockwise. I think I may have gotten it. Let's see what we got. Now this is from 30 yards. Yeah, I mean that's not that's not too bad. I think that's pretty much user error, or whatever. Thank God, because I would have destroyed my arrows. But I think that's not bad.